This is unbelievable. The apology that ought to be given is to the American taxpayer, not to a government agency that is abusing its power. I, I, I am sitting here listening to this testimony. I just, I don't believe it. That's your problem. Nobody believes you. Internal Revenue Service comes to Congress a couple years ago and misleads us and says no targeting is occurring. Then it said it was a few rogue agents in Cincinnati. Then it said it was also on progressives. All of those things have been proven untrue. You bury in a 27-page letter to the Senate asking for them to conclude the investigation that you've lost Lois Lerner's emails during the time in question because of a hard drive crash. Monday, our investigators ask your agency whether any other hard drives crash, and we learned that six other hard drives of the people we're investigating were involved. You didn't tell us that. We told you on Monday. On Monday. And what did you do with the information? Because we asked you. Right, and what did you do with that information? You told us on Monday because we asked you whether any other hard drives crash. This is unbelievable. We answered you, you told us on May that you were going to give us all of Lois Lerner's emails, and you learned in February that this crashed. I did not learn in February it was a crash, and we you, told you on Monday. We I'm not asking you a question. I'm just making Sorry a statement. That. My, my apology. You asked taxpayers to hang on to seven years of their personal tax information in case, in case they're ever audited, and you can't keep six months' worth of employee emails? I don't, I don't believe you. This is incredible. I have a long career. That's the first time anybody has said that you do not believe me. I'm actually I don't willing, believe you. That's fine. We can have a disagreement. I'm willing to stand on our record. I'm willing to remind you that it was not buried in 27 pages. Most of that 27 pages is exhibits. When asked about the custodians, we advised you what Being we knew, forthcoming. Which we knew for one day. Being forthcoming went, is to say, I'm sorry, you know what, investigators, asked. Congress who's investigating this. Will you this? let him answer the question? I didn't ask him a question. Yes, it's you did. Being forthcoming. Gentlemen, the Gentlemen, I the gentleman the time. from Wisconsin I control the time. time crash that is apparently unrecoverable, which a lot of IT professionals would question, and you don't tell us about it until we ask you about it. That is not being forthcoming. And that's I, true.